Good morning students. How are you all? I hope you all are doing good. Today we are going to learn a new lesson in GK from your second semester book lesson number 3 Garden Helpers. In this lesson we will learn the names of some important gardening hand tools. So let's read. We enjoy working in a garden when we have the proper tools to work with and help plants grow to their best. What about farmers? They are totally dependent on certain tools for tilling, pruning and harvesting. What do you mean by tilling, pruning and harvesting? Tilling means to prepare land for the raising of crops. And what is pruning? Pruning means to cut our crop and weed out. Pruning usually happens to overgrow trees and bushes. And what is harvesting? The cutting and gathering of the matured crops is called harvesting. So name these tools which are most important to farmers and gardeners in growing plants. Look at the first picture. Which tool is this? This is sickle. This is sickle. And sickle is used for harvesting. Is ka use kaha kiya jata hai? Harvesting mein. This is a common hand tool. We all have seen sickle. And what is the spelling of sickle? S I C K L E. Sickle. Now, second one. Which tool is this? This is pick eggs. This is pick eggs. And we use pick eggs to dig the hard surface. And pick eggs ka use kaha kiya jata hai? Hard surface ko dig karne ke liye. Okay? And this is also a common hand tool. And what is the spelling of pick eggs? P I C K. Pick A X E X. Pick eggs. Now, third one. What is this? This is trowel. This is trowel. And it is used for digging small holes, smoothing our plaster. This ka use kaha kiya jata hai? Small holes ko dig karne ke liye, ya fir smoothing ke liye, ya plaster karne ke liye. Humne dekha hoga, jab kahi construction ka work hota hai, waha pe kya hota hai? Iska use kaha kiya jata hai? Smoothing ke liye. Okay? So what is the spelling of travel? T R O W E L travel. Okay. Now, fourth one. Which tool is this? This is shovel. This is shovel. And it is used for moving portion of material such as earth, snow and grain from one place to another. Iska use kaha kiya jata hai? Kuch portions ko move karne ke liye kiya jata hai. Okay. And what is the spelling of shovel? S-H-O-V-E-L shovel okay now next one which tool is this this is hoe this is hoe and it is used to cultivate the soil and remove weeds okay iska use kaha kiya jata hai weeds ko remove karne ke liye hai and what are weeds weeds are unwanted plants they grow with crops and what is the spelling of hoe h o e Ho. Now, sixth one. Which tool is this? This is gardening scissors. This is gardening scissors. And scissors can be used in the garden for dead head flowers, remove dead leaves and harvest vegetables. Okay. And what is the spelling of gardening scissors? G-A-R-D-E-N-I-N-G gardening s c i double s o r s scissors now next one which tool is this this is digging fork this is digging fork and it uh, it is used for loosening and lifting turning over soil in gardening and farming 
ओके इसका यूज कहाँ किया जाता है सॉइल को लूजनिंग के लिए लिफ्टिंग के लिए एंड टर्निंग ओवर के लिए एंड वॉट इज द स्पेलिंग ऑफ डिगिंग फॉग डी आई डबल जी आई एन जी डिगिंग एफ ओ आर के फॉग डिगिंग फॉग ओके नाउ एट वन विच टूल इज दिस दिस इज प्रोनर दिस इज प्रोनर एंड इट इज अ टाइप ऑफ सीजर्स फॉर यूज ऑन प्लांट्स प्रोनर इज अ गार्डन टूल दैट इज यूज फॉर कटिंग ऑफ द ब्रांचेस ऑफ ट्रीज एंड बुशेज इसका यूज कहाँ किया जाता है ट्रीज की हार्ड ब्रांचेस को कट करने के लिए और जो बुशेज होती है उनको कट करने के लिए ओके एंड वॉट इज द स्पेलिंग ऑफ प्रोनर पी आर यू एन ई आर प्रोनर ओके वंस अगेन लेट एस रिवाइज द नेम्स ऑफ दिस टूल्स फर्स्ट वन इज सीकल सेकेंड इज पिक एक्स थर्ड इज ट्रॉवल फोर्थ इज शॉवल फिफ्थ इज हो एंड सिक्स इज गार्डनिंग सीजर्स एंड सेवेंथ इज डिगिंग फॉक एंड एथ इज प्रोनर I hope students you understood the lesson now we will move on to our next lesson lesson number 4 insect bites in this lesson we are going to learn about some insects okay so let's read whether you like it or not there are these six legged pests that live in your house with you What do you mean by pest? Pest is any animal or insect which has a harmful effect on humans and their food or their living conditions. There are a lot more in the world around you. Using the help box, find answers to the following questions. First one is This is perhaps the most dangerous insect since it spreads a lot of disease. What do you mean by spreads? Spreads means phalana. And what is disease? Disease means illness or sickness. And the answer is mosquito. Mosquito spreads a lot of diseases. so what is the spelling of mosquito m o s q u i t o mosquito okay now second one these have a sting in their tail but something sweet in their homes answer is honey bee answer is honey bee honey bee have a sting in their tail and we get honey from honey bee okay from where we get honey we get honey from honey bee and what is the spelling of honey bee h o n e y honey b e e e b honey bee now third one they are small and red their bite is quite painful if you spill some sugar you are sure to find these there what do you mean by spill spill means allowed to run or fall from a container and what is the answer answer is red ant red ant okay red ants are found everywhere and their bite is quite painful and what is the spelling of red ant r e d red a n t ant okay now fourth one with several legs and fearsome antenna what do you mean by antennas antenna are a pair of sense organ located near the front of insect head okay they are commonly called feelers these worm like creatures can be quite fearful to look at what is the answer answer is centipede answer is centipede centipede looks quite fearful and they have several legs and fearsome antenna and what is the spelling of centipede 
C E N T I P E D E centipede. Now fifth one. Big and small and in almost all shades of brown, these insects prefer the dark and come out at night. What is the name of this insect? This is cockroach. Okay. These insects can be seen mostly in night. And they are found in all shades of brown. And they are big and small in size. And what is the spelling of cockroach? C-O-C-K-R-O-A-C-H Cockroach. Now, sixth one. Red, black and white with spots on their back. These insects are also called farmer's friend. What is the name of this insect? This is ladybird beetle. This is ladybird beetle. And it is also called farmer's friend. And these insects have red, black and white spots on their back. And what is the spelling of ladybird beetle? L E D Y L E D B I R D Bird B W E T L E Beetle Ladybird Beetle. Now seventh one. This insect is very religious as it always looks like it is praying. What is the name of this insect? This is praying mantis. This is praying mantis and this is green in color. And it always looks like that it is praying. ये कैसा लगता है जैसे हमेशा pray कर रहा हो. And what is the spelling of praying mantis? P R E Y I N G praying M E N T I S mantis praying mantis. Now eight one. Green in color and very good at hoping. What do you mean by hoping? Hoping means Move by jumping with two or all feet at once. This insect is called harmless. What is the name of this insect? This is grasshopper. This is grasshopper. And this is also green in color. And this is called harmless. Let us revise once again. First one is mosquito. Second one honeybee. Third one Red and fourth is centipede, fifth is cockroach, sixth is ladybird beetle, seventh is spring mantis, eighth is grasshopper. I hope, students, you understood the lesson and try to learn it. Thank you.